Today, I bring the summary of The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Waddles. Wallace D. Waddles' book is deep and complex, but here I bring a quick summary of the science of getting rich for you. Richness in this book refers to having everything you can possible want in life, and being successful is about being who you want to be and living to your full potential. It's much more than money, though money is important given how our society is structured. When you have lots of money and can put it to good use, you can multiply your growth and impact. According to Waddles, getting rich is an exact science. It works like a set of algorithms, much like the mathematical laws of addition and subtraction. By applying the science in this book, thinking and acting in according with the laws, anyone can get rich. To test if this law is real, you simply need to apply it yourself. The core of the book is a series of action steps that you can take to add value to other people and, by doing so, become wealthy. The fact is that money is a medium of value, so the more value you provide to others, the more value you'll get back in the form of money. Waddle's action steps teach you how to maximize the value that you offer other people. Step 1. Have a definite vision. The first action step is to develop a clear vision for what you want. We're not talking about just an affirmation. It's not enough to want to be a millionaire. What's required is a clear action plan, a well-conceived strategy for how you are going to accumulate wealth. Instead of fire aim ready, the sequence should be ready aim fire. What is your specific plan to realize your vision? Are you taking action before you have clearly thought through what to do? There are all kinds of ways to make money. The most important question for you to answer is, what are you going to do different and better than anyone else in your industry? Step 2. Be creative, not just competitive. A key concept in the science of getting rich is the idea of creating instead of competing. What is creating? It means doing something new or different than what's been done before. Here's where investing quality time into thinking about your plan pays off. When you do that, something a bit mysterious begins to happen. Your subconscious mind kicks in. You receive intuition and insights from another source, and it can almost feel like you're receiving amazing ideas from outside of yourself. This is what Waddles refers to as infinite intelligence. By contrast, when you're focused on your competition, then you're not creating, you're just reacting. It's hard to be innovative or original when your action plan is reacting to what other people are building. Step 3. Exercise your imagination with frequency. The third action step is to use your willpower to discipline yourself to think about your vision and your plan every day. One of the secrets found in the science of getting rich is the power of your imagination. How much time do you spend daily thinking about the life you want to live? When you develop the practice of thinking about your vision all the time, something exciting happens. You begin to believe it. And once your subconscious mind begins to believe it, you start to tap into the creative force of the universe, the infinite intelligence. You'll start to see doors open and opportunities arise, as the universe realigns itself to manifest the future that you believe in. Maybe that means that your ideal client calls you up and wants to book you, or that you find yourself meeting just the right person to grow your business at a conference. Step 4. Maintain gratitude. Your attitude matters. Make the attitude of gratitude a habit. The science of getting rich points out the importance of thinking in a certain way. Start and end each day by making a list of everything you're grateful for. Infinite intelligence only communicates through the subconscious mind, so it's important for your subconscious mind to live in a state of gratitude, which is achieved by cultivating a daily gratitude practice. If you're keeping an attitude of gratitude, you'll receive ideas that will change your life and give you even more to be grateful for. Step 5. Have 100% belief. When you doubt whether or not you'll succeed, it's like hitting the brakes. That doubt stops all forward progress towards your goal. So you need to cultivate authentic, powerful belief that you will achieve your goals. A great tactic to do this is to be grateful for the success you're striving for even before you receive it. 
See the picture of what you want on the movie screen of your imagination. Soak it up and enjoy it. If you can convince your subconscious mind that you already have something you want, that part of your mind has no option other than to deliver it to you. Step 6. Make every day a success. The science of getting rich notes that it's critical to combine thinking and acting. Fill your days creating, being grateful, and having belief. Take as much action toward your goal every day as possible. What action steps did you take today? Take stock. What did you do? Make a list. How much time did you waste on Facebook or YouTube? What distracted you today? What distractions can you eliminate? Take stock of your mindset too. Were you grateful for the opportunities for success that you have, or did you spend most of the day frustrated? When you take maximum action daily and optimize your mindset, you'll be amazed at how quickly you can achieve success. Step 7. Get into a business that's right for you. Many of Waddle's insights are best applied by starting your own business. What business should you start? Here's the trick. Identify the skills necessary to be successful in any chosen industry. What skills are you naturally good at? How can you use your skills to do something better than anyone else? Choose an industry that suits the skills you already have. There's a lot to choose from. Online marketing, affiliate and network marketing, coaching, speaking, the stock market, cryptocurrencies, futures, and real estate investing are just a few. The science of getting rich highlights that the way to get rich in your specific industry is to be the best at what you do. Start where you are and constantly work on improving what you do. Go with what you're good at, then get better. We like the acronym Connie. See constant. A and. N never ending. I improvement. Step 8. Do more than fill your present place. Provide the absolute best. You've got to become great at what you do. How well do you serve your audience? Reach, stretch, strive, learn, and apply, and always try to grow so that you can serve your audience better. When you do that, you won't just fill your present space. You'll actually outgrow it, and the universe will naturally give you something bigger and better. When you're really striving, infinite intelligence will provide intuitive messages for how you can do better. Step 9. Make money now. Go the extra mile, create something unique, continue to make it better, and give way more than what you're charging for. Whatever your price point is, your clients should be thrilled to pay it. Not because you're the cheapest option, but because they're getting so much value out of your service that buying from you is a no-brainer. By providing an experience of delight, and giving your audience more use value than they expected, you'll cause them to gravitate to you. This will help you to earn more customers. As that happens, continue to give them more value. The science of getting rich exposes the formula. Serve a lot of people, provide more value than anyone else, and give a lot away for free. Then begin to charge a little for something. You will begin to succeed right away because people will trust and like you and they will want to buy your products. Money is just a medium for the exchange of value. Most people in this world are paid according to the value that they create for their fellow man. When you provide a huge amount of value, you will receive a corresponding amount of money. Step 10. Give people the impression of increase. Do people feel that they will gain value by associating with you? You should strive to give maximum value to everyone you meet. Impress upon everyone you interact with the benefit they will receive by associating with you. Make sure people understand that what you are giving them is valuable. Say things like, I hope this is valuable to you. Make sure that people see how hard you are working to help them succeed. Comment below which is your deficiency, which you want to improve in your life.